Assassin's Creed Syndicate. I just escaped Alhambra, the huge uh, theater, after killing Maxwell Roth. And I swear to God, this is like the second building we've burned down in like two days. Come on, Jacob. Stop destroying everything. I didn't realize you had to go up and then down. Oh, and cutscene. I think this is the f now this one should be the final one. <clears throat> this should be the final sequence. Order has bred disorder. The sea rises to flood the pubs and extinguish the street lamps. Our city will die. Tupinay has failed. Lucy has failed. Brudenell, Elliotson. Pearl. All have gone into the night. It is up to me now. It's depressing. The assassins have brought nature's fury into our homes. Men have become monsters. Barreling toward us, teeth out. This Derek doesn't really seem like much of a bad guy, other than the whole Templar thing. A civilization must survive this onslaught. Hmm. To prevent a return of the Dark Ages, I will start anew. London must be reborn. I wonder if they're going to do anything with the with the Great Fire of London during this time. I, I I'm I'm not sure. No pressure. No pressure. Just putting all the weight on this no face, no name dude who we're now just calling Initiate. I wish this guy did have a backstory. At least a name or a face. Or at least some kind of gameplay with him. Like in Black Flag and, um, and stuff, you know, I was annoyed that there was barely any gameplay with the uh, main character, but you know, what there was, wasn't the worst. Staric is making his move. The piece of Eden is somewhere inside Buckingham Palace. Let him have it. I've seen your handiwork across the city. Perhaps you should trust my judgment. Oh, lovely. I've been killing Staric's henchmen. What have you been doing? Let's ask Henry, shall we? I have been repairing your mistakes. Too much haste is too little speed. Don't you quote father at me. That's Plato. And I am sorry, this doesn't involve anything you can destroy. Father was right, he never approved of your methods. Father is dead! Enough! I knew they were gonna I have a sass fight. I just word from my spies. At the palace ball tonight, Staric plans to steal the piece of Eden, and then eliminate all the heads of church and state. What the hell? Once more for all time's sake. And then we're finished. Agreed. Aww. So what's the plan? So I'm guessing then when you finish the game, they don't Such see each other at all. To visit you both. What is the news on the street? Mrs. Disraeli, we have discovered that there is something inside Buckingham Palace that could threaten the... <laughs> what my sister's failing to say is that we require entrance into the ball tonight. Well, impossible! Oh, Even if there were any invitation cards remaining, which there are not, uh, someone of your lowly station... If that damn fool Gladstone is attending this evening, they can have my card. Hey, right. nice. Then I'll go alone. Mrs. Disraeli, if you'd be kind enough to inform my darling brother of the location of the Gladstone's residence, Perhaps he could use his considerable skills to commandeer their cards. <laughs> what fun! 
Did you hear yeah, that, nice. Dizzy? We're going to pinch the Gladstone's invitations. <laughs> She's just perfectly fine with us. Oh, a pleasure, brother, dearest. Now, Mrs. Disraeli, if you would excuse me, I must visit with the Maharaja. It occurs to me that he may have a second set of plans to a certain vault. Lovely. All right. So nerve of Evie. Treating me like a child. Reach the Gladstone's house. But where is the Gladstone's house? Seems really far away. Yeah, it's like a thousand meters away. Shitting hell. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yeah, Jesus Christ, it's a thousand meters away. Kilometer. That's going to take a while to get there. So in any case, I'll end the video here and I'll bring you guys back into the scene when I get there. So thank you all very, very much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And as always, I will see you guys next time we'll be getting into the Gladstone's house. Have fun, guys.